Hello, we are discussing about gate video solutions for 1991 ECE paper and the topic we are discussing is electronic devices. This is first 5 mark question came in 1991. Look at the diagram. The diagram consisting of V plus N junction and its whole density. The current I in a forward biased P plus N junction shown in figure is entirely due to diffusion of holes from x is equal to 0 to x is equal to L. The injected hole concentration distribution in N region is linear as shown in figure with P of 0 is equal to 10 power 22 per centimeter cube and L is equal to 10 power minus 3 centimeters. Determine A. Current density in the diode Assuming that diffusion coefficient of holes is 12 cm square per volt second, 12 cm square per second. B. Velocity of holes in N region at x is equal to 0. So we need to calculate current density in the diode assuming that diffusion coefficient of holes is 12 cm square per second. And next velocity of holes in the N region that to at x is equal to 0 that is at the junction. We see how to solve this problem. It is a 5 mark question. There will be no options. The given hole distribution is linear. It is starting from at x is equal to 0 p of 0 whose value is 10 power 22 and it is decreasing linearly towards L. At x is equal to L, the value is 0. Hole concentration will become 0. So the given information is p n junction is forward biased with P of 0, 10 power 22 per centimeter cube, L is equal to 10 power minus 3 centimeters, diffusion constant for holes is 12 centimeters square per second. Now the current density due to hole diffusion, current density due to hole diffusion, the equation for that one is JP of x is equal to minus Q into DP into DP of x by dx, where Q is charge of an electron, dp is nothing but diffusion constant for holes and dp of x by dx that is nothing but diffusion, net diffusion of holes moving this x distance. So current density of hole diffusion can be written as minus q into dp into dp of x by dx that we are going with two points. Let us assume this is first point and it is second point. From that one we can write it as y2 minus y1 by x2 my r sorry dp of x change in p of x by change in x so this is point a point b distance between the two points so 10 power 22 minus 0 divided by 0 minus l dp of x diffusion difference in concentration 10 power 22 minus 0 divided by difference in length x is equal to 0 minus x is equal to l so this is q is minus 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 dp is 12 it was given 10 power 22 by minus 10 power minus 3 because l value is given as 10 power minus 3 minus minus will get cancels what you will get is nothing but 19.2 into 10 power 6 ampere per centimeter square current density due to hole diffusion is 19.2 into 10 power 6 ampere per centimeter square Next, velocity of holes in N region at x is equal to 0. We know the relation between velocity and current density. Current density is product of velocity of charge carriers multiplied by charge density. J is equal to rho into V, where rho is charge density. We can write charge density for this one as Q into P of x. Velocity is nothing but drift velocity of charge carriers. At x is equal to 0, the equation can be written as j of x is equal to rho of x into v of x. So j of 0 is equal to rho of 0 into v of 0 can be written. v of 0, velocity of holes in n region at x is equal to 0, that we are calculating. v of 0 is equal to j of 0 by rho of 0. j of 0, current density, is already calculated 19.2 into 10 power 6 divided by rho of 0 j 
charge density that is q into p of 0 q into q is nothing but 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 p of 0 is nothing but 10 power 22 so now velocity of holes in n region at x is equal to 0 is nothing but 12 into 10 power 3 centimeter per second velocity of holes is 12 into 10 power 3 centimeter per second and current density calculated is 19.2 into 10 power 6 ampere per centimeter square so these are the required answers thank you